games take longer to make head of Xbox Game Studio says. Yeah. Yeah, games are bigger. How long do you think they've been working on Starfield? Seven years now. I mean, the, 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 um, I think the, the more grandiose your vision is for a game, the more you have to expect to be spending on that development process, right? So this is a this is a very I think this is a very difficult thing. You know, I catch a lot of flack. I catch a lot of flack for uh the some of the hate that I push out on uh these developers for their crap releases and stuff, which is kind of absurd to me that people still, you know, are in this mindset that it's okay. They, they, I, I mean, I commonly refer to it as like people just being like, um, blinded by their fandom for these titles or these developers, you know, because it's, it's so wild to me that people are still, uh, so blatantly, um, it, it, they're, they're so quick to, to get mad and, and disgruntled about how I, I will, uh, I'll put like articles out of the uh, news segment clips out of the, the, uh, news segment on YouTube and stuff. And I get these, some people agree, but I'll get a lot of other people that, you know, get very disgruntled and, and talk a bunch of hate about how, um, I throw shade, you know, when ultimately what it comes down to is a lot of these companies are, uh, producing, malfunctioning and and broken products and they know that they're pushing them out to the consumer anyways and making the consumer pay the price um and it's not lost on me that this development process is um yeah dude yeah the development process is a very long thing for most of these developers and especially like i said the the more grandiose the uh the project is the further they're they're you know the greater the vision is the 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 more far reaching their uh their vision is for what they want the game to be uh then obviously the longer the development's probably going to take for that game more 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 lo- more often than not right but it's uh, you know and a business is a business and and they need to make money but look man if a business is not making a quality product that's the way business works if a business isn't making a quality product, <clears throat> they don't deserve to be making a profit, and therefore they're probably going to die. That business is. That's just the way the world works, man. And so I get people spitting out comments like, "Well, the you know the employees need to eat," and it's like, yeah, those employees are going to get paid no matter what, anyways, right? But if um, that company from top to bottom doesn't produce quality products. Um, ultimately, if they're sending out broken products and they know they're broken, they don't deserve to make money. And if they die, they die, dude. Because why do they deserve to make money off of subpar, broken, terrible products? They don't. It's it's ridiculous. But it's not lost on me that you know a lot of these projects are are very very long. They take a very long time to make and, um, you know, but it doesn't, it's not, it's, it's not an out either for, for these developers to, you know, and publishers and things like that to just allow broken products out their doors either. Um, games take longer to make. That's what uh, head of Xbox game studio, Matt Booty told Axios in an interview on Monday in his interview with the outlet. Booty said that fans need to understand that games just don't get made at the same speed they used to. Um, I think the industry and the fans were a little behind the curve on, on sort of a, a reset to understand that games aren't two or three years anymore. <clears throat> when it comes to the large scale, big budget games, booty added, they are at least four and five and six years. This trend has been going on for quite a while now with most AAA games aside from 
annualized titles that have multiple studios working on them. The biggest example right now is Starfield's eight-year development cycle. You can even put the in-development Fable in the same category as the game was first announced back in 2020 and appears to be nowhere near release despite its first major trailer being shown. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. Booty says the longer the development time is in large part due to the complexity of the games being made today. Absolutely. Like I was just kind of talking about. There are higher expectations, he said. The level of fidelity that we're able to deliver just goes up. Games continue to get more ambitious as an art form. Absolutely. What do you uh, make of Booty's comments? Um, this is, uh, I think that it's an, it, you know, it was an, an inevitable. Games are getting bigger. They take longer time to make. They take more storage space up. It's, it's, it's an entire like snowball effect, right? So the evolution of gaming and technology goes hand in hand. Games get bigger, uh, more expansive, and and um, the magnitude of them is is <clears throat> incredibly large. Expansive universes, and and um, I think this is one of the things that uh, I talk about a lot. It's kind of ridiculous to me that. Um, so many there 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 are a number of people out there anyways of just from the consumer and, and enthusiast standpoint that can't just chill out and let developers give us information whenever they're ready to give us information instead they uh they kind of force the developers hand by uh obtaining information in some form or fashion and leaking that information out and then the developers hands kind of put they're like kind of pushing to a corner of being having to talk about the the uh, development when they weren't ready to talk about that, that part of the development or what have you. And that sucks. You know, I understand people anticipate these kinds of things, but it, uh, it is, I'd much rather developers take their time and develop something nice and um, worth playing than rush things out. And obviously people had gotten used to over the years having, the development process be shorter because two to four years and now we're at like you know four to seven years but that's what it is dude you want these bigger better more immersive uh kinds of games that's what it's going to take right that's what it is people just have to understand that but i don't care how much time a developer is going to take either on the flip side of that no matter how much time you're going to take to make your game if you release it as a broken piece of crap, you don't deserve anybody's money, in my opinion. So if that means that you're, uh, you know, going to end up destroying your company and your company has to shut down and dissolve, uh, that's business, dude. And I, I, I get tired of hearing the whole, well, they got to eat. You know what I mean? Look, man, um, <laughs> yeah, everybody in the world needs to eat. You know what I mean? But if a company is not doing their job and making a quality product for a consumer, that is just basic business principles. If you're not making a solid product, if you're making a malfunctioning, broken product, you can't expect to make money off of that and survive. That's just basic logic of business. So take your time. Make your game. Make it well. Make it worth our money, you know? <laughs>